also wet? Huh, this one's dry, but the back of the seat in front of it is wet. Ugh, all they're doing is announcing that they play the kazoo and then asking if others also play the kazoo. Who are you mad at, Brian? Ugh, how much time you got? Not enough for that, but you're right. If you want a song a baby will like, you've got to get a baby to write it. I'm gonna get out of this place one day. Hey, Butch, get a load of Stewie. He says he's gonna get out of here. He says he's gonna be a singer. Hey, Buble, I got a tune for you to sing. It's called Get Your Ass Back on a Forklift. Lunch is over. Dad, can I have 50 bucks for a shamrock tattoo? It's time. All right, but make sure you get it where everyone can see. My old job is the guy racing through an airport at the end of a romantic comedy. Taxi! This guy's in love! Is she worth it? She's a once-in-a-lifetime girl! I'll give you an escort! Whoa, 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 child! What's the hurry? The love of my life, that's what! We got a cold Romeo! Chris? Ashley, I love you! No more rainbows and unicorns. Real baby issues. Right, like heartworm and parvo? No, baby stuff! I call that Mama Like to Party, parentheses Chris's song. Stewie, that's good. Musical entertainment available for parties. Hey, where are you drinking that Chardonnay? Uh, you guys, I need help unloading the groceries. My undiagnosed mom injury is flaring up. Wait a minute, what if you had someone to help keep you organized? Chris is looking for work, maybe he can help you out, be your assistant. Charlie and Uncle Craig. And Uncle Craig's written in a different color. Oh, poor Uncle Craig. Hey, Olivia, hey, what brings you here? Oh, the birthday boy and I met at Burt Reynolds' acting camp in Jupiter, Florida. It's about those six children watching and the spazzy kid who's just waiting for the snakes. Ring out the snakes! No climbing on the boat! Okay, now please welcome Red Shirt, Blue Shirt. From mommy and daddy's room. Oh, daddy says please, mommy says no. Daddy says come on, mommy says whoa. Oh, he can't go out with you tonight. He's got a date with me. Really? Awesome. Brian, I can't go. I'm not feeling well. Fun for me. Hey! Oh, hey! This is fun, right? The best! And me too! I couldn't toddle right for a week. Okay, you don't. All right, if you'll excuse me, I have a poo-poo diaper. Mm -hmm. I heard you called in sick yesterday. Yeah, I had a frog in my throat. <laughs> right, Kermy? <laughs> right? Now, the first thing I need you to do every morning is punch me in the stomach because I'm a bad person. Please put some butt paste on my button. Butt paste on my button. Stay away, stay away from the big kid in the baby swing. You know, I talk a lot of smack, but at the end of the day, these guys are pros. You write all the songs, you've got a better voice, you've got the sweet bod. Oh my god. Everyone thinks Brian is the star of the group. Who thinks that? I don't know. Chris, could you please get Hannah a thank you basket and schedule her next appointment? I'd like to see her again in two weeks. Of course. Good luck. When are you going to do that drawing anyway? Oh, there's no drawing. I just like smelling the bowl. Stewie, what the hell is your problem? I'll tell you what my problem is. I'm doing all the work and you're just riding my coattails. I think it's time to talk about your future with the band. Are you serious? You're actually kicking me out of the band? Not at all. You want to fire Stewie and be red shirt, blue shirt with me? Absolutely. You're the whole reason the fans even like the band. And I don't know if you considered this, but the clock is ticking on Stewie's cuteness. Huh. I guess you're right. I could wear a shirt that's both red and blue, and you can do spin art with all the wussy kids who are afraid to go on rides. You and I should probably rehearse. We've got a show in 20 minutes. Fine, go ahead. It's not going to be the same. Meg, do you know how to use Microsoft Excel? Yeah, I'm actually pretty good. Yeah, you would, dork. It's on the Griffin family account. Peter, my parents have access to that. What's wrong with this worm? That's it. I'm calling Quagmire right now and putting an end to this. Report a pregnancy, please fill out our online form and we will mail you a check for $180. Thank you and have a giggity day. Daddy says I'm done. Mommy goes, wow. Daddy, Daddy rolls, rolls over and falls asleep. asleep. Mommy, Mommy drinks wine in the dark. Don't mess this up. We've got a good thing going. I, I hate to tell you this, but I'm afraid red shirt, blue shirt is done. Chris, there you are. We need to talk. What are you, walking a horse? Did Quagmire get a horse? <laughs> Wanna see me feed him a carrot? Absolutely not. Hell yes. Chris, this is no job for a teenage boy. Well, that's what I get for horsing around. Ah, your joke wasn't funny enough. It's nothing without you. You were the band. Those were your songs. And I'm sorry if I let Olivia manipulate me. Hey, I wonder if she's gonna keep the band going. Probably. She told me she was just gonna replace me with another dog. Another kid's stuff. 
Several players were interviewed by the league, but none would reveal the mastermind of this garbage can scheme. Peter's mad because he always gets Bonnie rubble. If I were mad, would I laugh like this? <laughs> I can only hire you so many times. Welcome to the hog. I'll ask my roommate to move his car so you can pull out. Best butts to sniff at the park. I, um, I don't, I don't think this is an article for human readers. Guess who just wrote 10 facts you didn't know about Jerry Seinfeld? Is one that he's Jewish? You didn't know about Michael Richards. You can't use that word in an article. And I will find a new show to write about. I'm not doing that. It might get retweeted by Joe Rogan. Ooh, I'll do anything Joe Rogan says. Okay, I have to write an article on the life of the town's hero and brewery founder, Pawtucket Pat. Oh, what's this? Some kind of leather-bound book sealed with wax. Second page. Seriously, Dad, don't read this. Third page. Dad, what are you doing? Don't read this. He stole it from some Native Americans and killed them to keep his secret. And then he kissed his sister again. What? Why are you so upset about Pat? <sighs> God, there's a lot wrong with this, but you can't tear this down. Pat's an icon. The town is divided over whether his statue should remain in the park. Even the pigeons who poop on it are in a moral quandary. Your work has actually made an impact. Thanks, Dewey. I think everybody's going to be happy about this. Where do you get off? You don't actually support keeping it there, do you? Of course I do. It's been there my whole life. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to keep it up. For years, it's been a tradition that every boy, when he turns 16, has to kiss the statue's crotch while his friends take pictures. Where do you draw the line? Wait a minute. You don't agree with Peter, do you? I don't know. I okay. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the kitchen. Damn it! Who moved the lamp? There is no way the children regularly disappear and then replace themselves with sunflowers just to express their boredom. Ha! <laughs> what do you think should happen to the statue? I don't care. I'm an agent of chaos. <laughs> Ow! Building palaces that will be admired for centuries We heard you had sex with a horse! Isn't that the latest hairdresser down the street? Why don't you tell me? You were sent a beer by that table of business, man. Which table? No, 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 don't look! Make them come to you. Peter, they can't come. They're dead. That was the day I lost my sparkle. Could you do me a favor and elbow wipe 74 years of pigeon <laughs> off my shoulders? Uh, okay. Move, Brian. You're in my spot. You're Mrs. Groceries? What is Peter doing to drum up support for his side? Ladies and gentlemen, to support Pawtucket Pat. You want to tell me why I found your mother's best t-shirt cutting scissors outside in the rain? Pfft. I don't know. <sighs> God, I can't believe Peter is actually winning public support for that damn statue. And he's throwing rocks through my window, and it's his house. Part of me wants to march down to that park and remove it myself. Well, why don't you? It'd be a noble act. Ha! Found some medium rocks. You know what? That's a great idea. Thanks for helping me, Stewie. All right, let's tie the rope around the statue and tow it out of here. Okay, we're almost ready to do this. Did you bring the masks? Right here. What the hell is this? You said to bring masks. All right, let's get this statue out of here. Wow, look at this. The statue's disappearance is being covered everywhere. I can't believe we really did it. If we're caught, we'll go to prison. Prison? I can't go to prison. Morning, everybody. Where have you guys been? <laughs> no, nowhere, of course. Give us some shade. We're dying up here. Yeah, what do you call that haircut? You're nearly 80 years old. This is awesome. What a turnout. And look, here comes Fox News. My God, Peter, what are you doing? Taking up politics to avoid intimacy with my wife. Peter, is that you? And we are annoyed that no one has asked us what we think. You guys kind of dress like Weekend Jay Leno. The pressing issue isn't what someone did 300 years ago. It's how do we help Native Americans today? But Pat's the town hero. If he's nothing, then so is Quahog. Who we are and what we do. Not because of some guy who stole beer 300 years ago. We all owe our Native American friends an apology. Sorry. Angry whites. Sorry. Let's go home. I'll drive. Where the hell are we? It will be relocated to the Quahog Museum, where it will be both remembered and never seen by anyone ever again. What about Fritz Lang's Metropolis? How'd you get here? In my Hyundai Sonata. Okay, I'm off.
Well, we knew this day would come. Good luck wherever you wind up. Take care, buddy. Call if you want. If not, take care of yourself. I'm just going away for a few days. Brian, take it easy. You're not leaving forever. You're just leaving for a few days. Yeah, and someday when you're ready, you're going to walk off into the woods and die. And we are prepared for that. You're going to go, Brian, or should I get the can of pennies? <laughs> Finally going to get to meet the man of a thousand chicks. That's right. You think I've been with a lot of broads. My dad's had more pie than Kirstie Alley. Hey, guys, come on in. Dad, they're here! I'll take it. And a salutey rooty toot tooty back to you, my friend. So all of a sudden, we get these orders. And of course, it's the day of all days I have to put on a helmet. I remember the sky was a majestic orange. The breeze was just warm enough. Something else I wanted to tell you. What? Um, the mail came a little later than usual today. Yeah, Stewie, I gotta go. Oh, wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Peter, what are you doing home? I thought you'd be out in the town with Quagmire and his dad. Lois, you're not gonna believe this. Quagmire's dad's gay, and he had the complete DVD set of Sex in the City between his butt cheeks. Peter, no, he didn't. No, he had the DVD set. I was just being colorful with the rest of it. Hey, Peter, how you doing? Hey, Quagmire. Um, is your dad around? Hey, remember when we met him the other day and he danced? Oh, yeah, that was so funny, man. Oh, yeah, no, it, it wasn't funny. He just, he's it wasn't, it wasn't funny. He, he, it wasn't he, funny. He, it was gay. I'll tell you what I'm seeing. You're jealous. Huh? Yeah, your father's a drunk and mine's a hero. Look, you'll see. Look at this, Dad. All these people came out just to honor you. Oh, it feels good, son. I won't lie to you. It's great to see you back in your element tonight, surrounded by semen. <laughs> semen. See, Quagmire, I told you he's gay. Shut up, Peter. Your dad was cock of the walk, Glenn. Every day at rifle training, he'd help me clean my butt. Your dad once drank me under the table. If there was one man you wanted in your hole, it was your dad. Are you gay, Dad? Oh, Glenn, I'm not gay. Just, just tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. Now calm down, you're ruining this ball. You know how much I love balls. I am a woman trapped in a man's body. And while I'm in Quahog, I plan to have a sex change operation. Oh, come on, just be gay. He wants to have a sex change operation. Whoa, I knew he was gay. I didn't think he was that gay. No, no, Peter, he's not gay. He's a woman stuck in a man's body. He has an appointment Friday with Dr. Hartman to have the procedure, and he wants me to go with him. I, I just, I don't know if I can handle that. Hey, hey, you know what we should do? We should put on some 80s music, and then like every few minutes have them come out of there as a different sex, and we'll go... Wow, that thing was on there. Oh my god! What do you think, boys? Okay, kids, Mr. Quagmire and his dad, his mu his friend are coming over soon for dinner. So remember, Chris, no staring. I'd like you to meet Ida. Hello, everyone. I'll say it. So, Ida, you miss your penis? Peter! Thank you for asking it. Jeez. No, it's okay. It's a perfectly normal question. But the answer is, I still have it. They just turn it inside out. I did put a lot of planning into the meal. Yeah, we went down the list. Nothing with wieners, nuts, or grapes. Out of respect. I like the outfit you have on. Thank you, Meg. Who did your procedure? Wow. You just burned your last friend in this room, lady. I wonder if I could push mine inside. Oh, my God. It worked! It's gone! I can't believe- Oh, no, it's back. My dad talking about decorating in women's clothing? All I've talked about for years with these people is what a war hero you were. And I was. I see. I'm sorry you feel that way. Those seminars can wear you out. Oh, wow, did you say web-based internet series? No. Oh, my bad. Jack on the rocks, please. Hey, here's to exciting new opportunities on the internet. So, what, you're doing something with the internet? I am. I am. Being a writer, I'm always exploring new possibilities. So I finally tell them, hey, I came here to be at the seminar, not run it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we are in a hotel. And I'm in room 406. How was the seminar? Oh, it was terrific. I met an amazing woman. Finally, the whole package. See? Here, Lois, take a look. <laughs> oh, hey, Brian. Hey. Not to worry, I called in and a new cell phone should be here for you in three business days. What? Why? Well, clearly yours is broken because I haven't heard from you. Okay, well, first, the seminar was terrific. I absorbed so much. 
And then I get back here last night, and I meet an incredible woman. Quagmire's father, decorated war hero, Lieutenant Commander Dan Quagmire, is now a woman. Oh my god, what, what does it look like? You know, not half bad. Nothing you'd look twice at, but not bad. Is she over there right now? We should go take a look. No, they had a fight. She's staying at the Marriott. Oh, damn, I was just there. But I'm not crazy about the name change. What is it, like Danielle or Dana? No, Ida. What? What the hell? What's wrong with you? I had sex with her! What? I had sex with her at the Marriott! Oh! I was selfish. Oh, you weren't selfish. I realize I put a lot on you. I was wrong to just assume that you would understand and be able to accept this. Glenn? Sorry, sorry. Damn thing can't tell the difference. <laughs> oh, I met someone. What, you did? Oh my god, Glenn, he's amazing. I couldn't be happier. Really? What's his name? Hey!